So today's experiment is uh, is brazing. Um, now normal brazing rods are quite expensive, and I've seen some guys on uh, on the internet on YouTube brazing with copper as a filler. So um, instead of the brass, and they've had mixed results, but they've been using map gas, which is uh, not as hot as oxypropane. So what I have is I have oxygen coming out of this machine here, which is a hospital sort of medical grade oxygen generator for your people with lung problems. Um, that produces medical grade oxygen. I've got propane in a, in a bottle down here. I've, uh, I've stripped back some electrical flex to give me a nice copper, uh, clean copper wire. And I'm going to use that as um, as the filler when I braze these two together, uh, depending on, on how it works. And then I have some normal uh, sort of, I don't know, borax or whatever, flux, which I've pre-mixed, uh, ready to sort of flux it, and, and off we go. Um, yeah, and the noise is the oxygen generator. We pump in it, pumping air through some resuffocating sort of uh, catalytic filters and stuff. So that just about gets it in, in view. off a moment.
shall take that outside and cool it down so I can handle the thing. Wasn't very successful when your favourite quenching puddle is covered in ice. It doesn't work so well. The flux is uh, being a bit difficult to get off. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's brazing flux. And when I was just doing the, the braze there, it had to go a lot hotter than with with, with standard bronze rods. But um, uh, that is a storming success. So I don't know if that's, if that's showing up, but that's a copper braze. It's, it's pretty good. I had to get the steel a lot hotter than I would have expected. Uh, I've got no idea of actual temperatures, no way of gauging that other than noticing it had to go a little bit more orange than normal. And and then the copper, once it was hot enough, the copper just flowed really, really nicely. You can see it's nicely beaded up on there and uh, and made what looks like a, a fairly strong bond. Um, um, I could put it in the vise and hit it with a hammer just for fun, but I, I, oh, I'd do that anyway. So... Yes. Is it strong? Peening hammer. That is as strong as you'd ever expect it to be. A really good penetration. I did grind the edges of the steel so they were actually very, very clean to start with. Uh, it's a good preparation, but uh, yeah. I think, if that bends back, I think that is a, is that focusing? Yeah, that is a perfectly acceptable um, braze. Uh, obviously smashed apart, but you can see the penetration has gone right through between the two. And, and I wouldn't have expected a braze to be any stronger than just whacking it apart. And that was with oxypropane, oxygen from a, a medical oxygen concentrator, standard propane for a red bottle, and uh, electrical flex that's an off cut that I took out of a bin. So um, I don't think I'll ever be buying expensive bronze brazing rods ever again after this. Um, a complete success.